was a remarkable show of support for the victims of the Haiti earthquake. In New York yesterday, representatives of more than 130 countries and other groups filled the United Nations to raise money for the Haitians now catapulted into even deeper poverty. Up to the minute contributor Frank Uciardo was there. The United States pledges $1.15 billion for Haiti's long-term recovery and reconstruction. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton co-chaired the U.N. conference to provide the money to raise Haiti from the rubble and ruin of the January 12th earthquake that killed nearly 300,000 people and left another 1.3 million homeless. The urgency to provide desperately needed dollars for the Haitian relief effort was underscored by former President Bill Clinton, the U.N. special envoy to Haiti. We still have to move 20 to 40,000 people before the rainy season so they're not at risk of drowning. And some of the uh, tented encampments are exposed to very heavy winds and they will blow down. Haiti's president called for establishing a special force to deal with natural disasters. The creation of a humanitarian emergency response force under the aegis of the United Nations to coordinate the responses to the various disasters which undoubtedly will occur in the future. Our goal is not just to rebuild, it is to build back better. It is a plan to create a new Haiti, or Haiti where the majority of people no longer live in deep poverty. It was a conference that not only raised money for Haiti, but enabled the Haitian people to express their needs to the world. Most want job opportunities closer to home, no matter how remote their communities, and demand a say in the development of their regions. The United Nations actually heard from leaders of citizens groups in Haiti. That had never happened. Not just in Haiti, but a lot of other countries. So this was a pretty momentous day for us. And the momentum resulted in more than doubling the UN goal with more than $9.9 .9 billion pledged over the next three years. But corruption is a concern. Transparency International, a global corruption monitoring organization, called Haiti one of the world's most graft-ridden nations. The UN says they will use an internet-based system to track how the money is being spent. Frank Uciardo for CBS News, New York.